What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode here at the Coleman Garage. As you can see, I'm actually on my way right now up to the shop where I've got some parts waiting. And instead of taking them back to the garage, we're just gonna throw this on the lift and do this on the comfort in my bay. So I'll see you there. So the reason we're here today is because of this. So with that being said, over here, got my box from FCP Euro, the best in the business. And here we have R32 control arms and brand new ball joints. Let's get to work. Over here we have a comparison, the stock arm on the left, R32 or Audi TT control arm on the right, same same but different. This one actually weighs a little bit more since it's cast but it's solid, it's sturdy and it has these notches compared to the holes so that you can adjust camber. what I mean by it's adjustable. You can move the ball joint out or in. So that's max camber, that's no camber. I think we're gonna go max camber for now. Just to see what happens. There's one side complete. And there we have it, job is done. Let's take a look. Looks really good. Now we just gotta do the raxles that I have at the house, finish cleaning this thing up, and then get it prepped for paint. We're almost there, guys. Now I just gotta lock up since I'm the last one here. be a wrap for today's video hope you enjoyed it hope it was cool a little different than what you're used to me being at the shop and everything but got the control arms on feels great driving home i no longer hear that clunky dun, 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 noise from the left wheel feels good driving nice and straight so check that box we're on to the next one see you next time peace